Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Papa from Game Kyo and today we're playing some more Bloons Adventure Time. Oh not Bloons Adventure Time. Cookie Run Kingdom. So last time we upgraded the cookie castle to level six. Uh off camera I've upgraded the fountain. Uh I placed two new houses and got those up to the traditional level five. Um we got a second jammery and a second um jelly bean farm and we just recently unlocked milk. Not exactly sure what it's gonna be do- well, I know what it's gonna be doing, they want us to build this. But that requires us to get those things- ooh, right, which I upgraded for. I upgraded this building, so now I think- yeah, we can make acorn lamps, which we need some, so yeah, apparently. Um, but there is definitely a lot of operations going on. So many buildings at this point, it's a little crazy, I have to admit. Because there's just so many different things you have to collect, and then rebuild, and all that stuff. But we do have our train, walking our way towards all of our rare materials. That's actually good, I think we just got four pillars there, that's pretty useful. Because pillars seem to be what we need, like, literally all the time. And there goes all of our axes, again, because apparently it really likes axes. I don't know why they need so many axes, but apparently they do. Um, speaking of which, I guess, I guess we should build some more axes. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've been walking away on all of our various shops and things because they're really important and you need a lot of stuff to keep up with the demand of the trains and to make sure you're still getting all your rare materials and that stuff. It, um, it gets pretty expensive. And very, very time consuming. But, we, not to mention, we still need so many more rare materials to upgrade all the various shops to allow us to just generally make more of this stuff. Because... A lot of the shops are still, either duplicate shops or whatever, are still lower level, and yeah, there's still just so much stuff to make and do, and a little crazy, I gotta admit. Definitely a little bit crazy. But let's keep on going. We need, we need all our jam, or jelly beans, rather. Luckily, it's probably a good thing we have the double jelly bean basket, because now we have the double um, jammeries as well, which do use quite a bit of jelly beans. Plus, we also have the, um, what's it called? Um, honestly, I forget what it's called. Um, eh, must not be that important. So let's make some more milk. Uh, not that we're actually using the building that uses milk yet, because it's expensive and we don't have the stuff, but, you know, still a good idea to generally walk towards that. So the daily rewards aren't ready yet, but they will be shortly. Um... I did switch to episode 4 as well, since we finished episode 4 last time for these. I don't think we made too, too much progress, but we did a little bit. One thing I learned that I feel very stupid that I didn't know about already is... There are set bonuses with these toppings. If you look here, you click on this. Um, equip 5 for plus 5% cooldown. Equip 3 for plus 3% attack. Equip 5 for plus 5% attack. I, I didn't know these existed, but apparently set buffs exist. Which is, well, pretty useful. So, I'm going to have to walk towards those, I guess. Keep those in the back of my mind. But I mean, for the most part... Actually, no, we do have one more buffing. So I guess we can put that on pomegranate. Unequip. Let's unequip the attack speed. I don't think that's that important. Oh, remove that for 5,000 coins. Ugh. I actually need coins again. I don't know how it happened, but... Like, you know, we still have two monuments that cost 200,000 coins each. I'm struggling to stay above 100,000 right now with all the various upgrades and things we have to do. I guess I should probably do some more Tree of Wishes, but I mean, for the time being, uh, your daily gifts are very much so helping because, well, it's just a lot of stuff you need. Um, and, you know, it's a pretty easy, infinite source of coins. See that? 36,000 coins? Most of those were from you guys, so that's pretty helpful. I have been sending my gifts as well. But yeah, so that's a really big deal. Thank you guys for sending your gifts. If you have a send a friend invite, I have accepted you, just letting you know. But the gifts are helpful because coins, they're a very weird resource because sometimes you need a lot of them. And then at other times, there's long periods of times where you just need absolutely none of them. Speaking of which, the time is reset, which is probably why I could give you your gifts. Um, which means we have more and more daily rewards to collect. I'm a little excited to get Will of Cookie. I don't think he's all that great, but I think he could be cool. Um, I think I'm going to hold off on Purple Yam Cookie for a couple reasons. 
One of which simply being, we're actually really, really close to getting Dark Choco Cookie. We have 10 of his, and we could buy 6 more, so we could be at 16 right now if we really wanted to. So, that's a pretty big deal. Ooh, we have 5 Richard Straws. Sugar Swan Shining Leaf, not bad. Uh, nope. Yes, Old Pilgrim Scroll, that's strong. I kind of want the Torch, but still, that's definitely good. I'll definitely take that. And, yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty lucky we got two epics there. One of them's new. Pilgrim Scroll gives attack boost to everyone, which would be very useful, except we have Pomegranate Cookie. So, Pilgrim Torch does damage for everybody. So, Pilgrim Torch would have been better, but not a, not a big deal. Um, you guys did mention something to me that I realize now is pretty smart. I should probably be saving the rest of my gems for when the new cookie comes out. Because, yes, the new cookie, it'll be here eventually with guild battles and all that stuff. So, I have to assume there's going to be a decent amount of stuff I'm going to want to spend gems on. What is with this guy? We've gotten, like, four of his soul stones. Um, also, supposedly, the new cookie is really good. I don't know. To me, Cream Puff Cookie seems like she's a wizard, I think. But she almost seems like a wizard that would be using heal and magic. Also, 17. Which means if we could get... I don't think he's in the arena shop, but if he was... Actually, we don't even have enough. He is in the arena shop, but we don't have enough. And even if we did, that it's only two, we'd still be one away. Well, speaking of which, then, let's quickly do some arena fights, because why not? Um... Wait, I didn't even equip my third treasure here. Okay, we're gonna have to do that in a second. Um, it is a little annoying that you can't actually control. What are you gonna do? Um... Yeah, I hope you guys are having a pretty good day, pretty good morning. It is Saturday, and Saturdays are pretty good days. Um, I don't know, I had a pretty good sleep, which was nice, I don't know. That's a pretty nice thing, it's not very, very common to have nice long sleep. I guess it's a little later now than normal, but that's not the end of the world. Well, we got lucky with this draw, usually I'm like, oh, hero games like hero have like four or forty thousand. I still keep forgetting to put on the treasure, that's gonna make a big deal. A 17% cooldown reduction. I'm gonna remember to do that after this time, okay? I promise. Oh, I can't believe I keep forgetting to do that. Whatever. We don't shouldn't have any problems with these since these are much, much, much weaker teams than us. But today, the plan I think is gonna be doing some dark mode. And I think my goal is to work our way towards completing dark mode stage two because it gets to the point where I think you can get like one epic soul stone a day for like basically any cookie you want, which. Sounds really, really good. Also, attackers to add our treasure slot. Uh, da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. And defenders as well, because that's still important. Um, squishy jelly watch, which is super good, by the way. Like, that makes a big deal. Well, we can actually beat everyone in the set, because even this is the strongest set. We're still a decent amount more powerful than it. I'm not sure if we're actually going to win this one. This is the only one we might lose, but I feel like we might, because they have mandolin cookie. And we have Milk Cookie. And Milk Cookie is a better version of Mandolin Cookie. Plus, they have Snow Sugar Cookie, who is like the worst epic cookie in the entire game because attack speed does not matter and for summon close attack speed. Um, but, anyways, yeah, we completely wreck these guys. As I told you, when you have not so great cookies, it doesn't really matter. The cookies you use make the biggest difference because, well, some cookies, they're not balanced, which is not something that I really care too much about. But yeah, these developers, these this game studio, they really don't care about making things balanced, which is not the end of the world. I will not be- Hey, reset! We can still attack almost everyone. Um, ooh, this might have been a mistake. When- it's missing a cookie, so we are taking the higher power level, but that's the way it tricks you. Oh wait, no, they're not missing a cookie. Oh, it's like the, the only- this actually- this team looks pretty powerful. Are we gonna die? We might die. Okay, so I was hoping that would have gone better. They have a healer, which is not the best of news. Um, and our team's gonna die, isn't it? That's our revive, I think, about to be used. Nope, hasn't been used yet. That's a little spot. And we won! No idea what happened there. Honestly, definitely looked like we were about to die, but we didn't, so I'll, I'll take that. Um... Uh, arena. I should probably do this more often because the arena points are important. We're not going to be able to afford Dark Chocolate. Yeah, it sucks. We're actually really, technically, really, really close to Dark Chocolate Cookie. You know what? I'll do the rest of these off camera. We are getting really, really close to getting Dark Chocolate Cookie, but we're just like the tiniest bit away. Also, apparently, we've done another rewards. Ooh, the Bear Chili Train. Ooh, this is going to be a, just some free extra rewards. That's always nice. 
We don't have any more of her things, right? Yeah, only ten. Okay, so not quite enough. Um, and if we look at our rarities, 11, 4, 13. Still a ways to go, but like I said, we also need some coins. So I'm actually just going to do the 10 set, because the 10s, except I don't want to do any of these. So, change of plans. We're going to reset. Actually, I'll do this one. I have no idea why I chose to do this one. Um, I think I'm going to only be doing the fine, the only, like, the first 10, because I think that's probably in my best interest. Because, well, the first 10 always gives you the Aurora Pillow, which is the one I need the most of. And, you know, it's only 10, as opposed to all the others, which get way, way more expensive. So I still really hate these rewards, but I mean, I also really need the coins, so... If you add those things together, I think doing 10 a day is probably what I'm gonna end up doing, because... Like I said, I still need the coins as well. Um, and this is a decent, well, not decent, this is the best source of coins, it's just really hurts me to get rid of all my resources that could be spending on the train and the uh, four flowers. Uh, that pains me. If you play this game, you know what it feels like to just spending all your resources on the wish tree. It's, it's not very nice. Was there a wish tree challenge? Nope, a reason. Arena season rewards. Hey, three more cookie cutters. Our daily adventure has continued. We know it's a Cookie on Kingdom episode because the game crashed in the middle of the episode. Well, early on, not middle, but still. As per usual, um, yeah, whatever. We got more cookie cutters, so we'll get to open up a few more. Maybe we'll get super lucky and pull, you know, maybe we'll pull a dark chocolate cookie. I will actually tell you, it's a little weird. I had a dream last night that I pulled three epic cookies. I don't think any of them actually existed. Like, they weren't real cookies, but I just pulled three epic cookies, and it was pretty cool. So maybe that dream is going to be reality today. I don't think so, but maybe we did get a cookie. Not someone very useful, but we did get one, nonetheless. Oh, I guess I still have to do the promotions, which are just gonna cost more coins. So many coins. Uh, whatever. Eventually, eventually, it's worth it, because, you know, there's some bonuses eventually. But then, also, the money, the money, the coins. I need the coins. One of the monuments is actually to get me more coins. Coins from battle, though, so that's not actually very useful. But still, I, I don't know. One day, one day, and this is 10,000, great. One day we're actually gonna have coins because these are the last monuments, last big purchases, except upgrading the cookie castle as well as the train station cost a lot of coins. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Wait, one last thing, quickly, hero treasures. No, I want any of these that really need it. Yeah, I want these two, these are the two I actually wanna get, but they're the only two I don't have. Uh, that's, that's luck for ya. Anyways into the world so we could do number five do we do number five you know what no this is more fun this is more story dark mode let me know do you want me to progress through it off camera or do you want me to just do like i don't know a video where it's just me talking and like post-production me talking just well you're just watching me do dark kingdom or the dark mode or whatever let me know because i'm interested i want to be doing some dark mode but I'm more than happy to be doing it off camera or to be doing it just like, more as just like a grinding video, I don't know. Let me know what you guys would like to see because I want to show you what you want to see, obviously. Um, but I hope you guys are enjoying the Cookie One Kingdom content because I'm still having a lot of fun making our way through the game. Our dream team's almost complete, we'll probably have that for next time. If not today, if we get lucky enough, but probably next time. Um, only one missing is Dark Choco Cookie. We're getting to the point where I think we're about to level up to, so we're making like serious, I, I don't know, XP progression. Our cookies are getting super powerful. We're now starting to be able to do more arena stuff. Like, we're just generally getting way more powerful in the story mode. We're continuing through a lot faster. I don't know. Feels like we're making solid progress today, which is pretty, or not today, but just the past couple of days, which is pretty awesome. Continuing to collect our gems from stages to use the eventually on, I don't know, on something. Okay. Do, 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 do. See, this gives you coins and XP as well, so that's pretty useful. Ack! What is it? The wind is so strong, I can't open my eyes. Wait, why are the only cookies with us? I thought she left again. Everyone, be careful! The 5-3 moss voice. Ooh, sounds spooky. I don't know. That sounds pretty interesting. At least she's with us now. That's gonna be... That's a sign for more interesting story to come. I 
I, I think. I don't know. Honestly, the story is my favorite part about the game. Whether that be for the right or wrong reasons. The best part about Cookie Run Kingdom is by far the storyline. Because it's just, it's so wonderfully weird and random and... Like, you can relate to the characters and they're very good at... I say, I would say complimenting, but it's sort of the opposite. Like, if you look at the main team of five, they're very good at anti-complimenting each other. Like, they're just exact opposites and it makes them work really, really well together. Which is pretty great. I like it. I don't know. It makes sense to me. It works well, but everyone, I'm sure, has their own different opinions. But yeah, like, um, um, Chili Pepper Cookie for, was that the end? Oh, that was the end. Chili Pepper for Cookie, for example, she's like the thief. She's like, i all in it for personal gain. Ginger Braves all for like, save the people. Um, Custer Cookie the third is like, oh, I'm royalty. Bow down to me. I'll be your savior. You'll make a statue of me, all that wonderful kingly stuff. And then Wizard Cookie's just like, you know what, I think you're all very, very stupid, and I don't want to be around. He doesn't seem like he likes them very much. And then, I guess, Strawberry Cookie, I don't know, what about Strawberry Cookie? She's, she's there, she doesn't do too much. Oh, right, I almost forgot about that. Well, that was a total waste of abilities. Whatever. At least we have our summon guards, our licorice guards. Which I think are made from black licorice, actually, which is pretty cool. Oh, all the mushrooms are blowing up. Ah. I was actually warned that these stages would be very difficult. I, I don't know. Actually, no. Episode 6 is supposed to be really difficult. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it. Though, to be fair, by the time we reach episode 6, I might just be too powerful and it might not, not be difficult. Because that seems to be a pretty common theme, I must admit. Though, supposedly, they're also, for any of you guys that are done or almost done the story mode, which I know is a lot of you, actually... Supposedly, episode 9 is also going to be coming out, so that's exciting news. So, supposedly, with the guild battle and just general guild update, uh, we're going to be getting Cream Puff Cookie, which is going to be a wizard, which is supposedly really powerful, and then we're also going to be getting um, episode 9. I'm not positive, I don't know if they confirm this, but I have heard about it. Whether it be rumor or truth, I think at least in part it is truth. Um, I have a feeling in the long run, their goal is probably going to be to do, like... Probably 10 episodes, but I don't really know. What now? The four spirits are attacking us. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess that sort of makes sense if you look at all the stuff that happened. Um, but anyways, let's go. Let's head on to a, a pomegranate village. I want to visit. Yeah. Okay, so we have to beat 5-5. So let's go to the pomegranate village, because that sounds interesting and fun. So I actually have a question for you. In the comments... Name me your three favorite cookies. You, they don't have to be your favorite because they're the most powerful. So, let's t think about this. Uh, not based on power, but based on, like, personality and, I guess, design and abilities as well. But not necessarily straight-up strength. More so based on their personality, like, I guess their looks, design, all that stuff. Who is your top three favorite cookies? Uh, mine, I think, are probably Licorice Cookie... Pomegranate cookie and chili pepper cookie because chili pepper cookie just adds a lot to the party with her personality. I do really like wizard cookie as well. And then Ginger Braves, Ginger Brave, he's pretty awesome. I don't know. Honestly, I can't pick. I think I'm gonna go with. Actually, I'd probably say licorice, pomegranate, and wizard. Those are my final three, I'm not changing my mind, even though realistically I totally am changing my mind. Um, but let me know because I'd be interested to know. Like, do a lot of you guys like the basic five commons, or are you a fan of the dark characters, or like, or mil like Milk Cookie and Kumaho Cookie with all of their, I don't know, lightness? I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, Milk Cookie's like, he's just the glowing white knight. How else would you describe it? Um, let's keep on going. So the power level is 20,000. They actually do show power level. And it shows that we'll double it, man. Uh, they really need to make progression in this game a little more balanced. I don't know, maybe you're sticked something. They could make it so that, like, you're, you can only upgrade your cookies. Yeah, I know it's based off your player level, but they could make your player level capping at certain um, cookie kingdom levels. So, like, let's say your cookie kingdom level 5, you can only reach player level, I don't know, 20, let's say. I feel like they could do something like that. 
obviously if they did do that, I probably still would line up for that. But I don't know. Because right now, it's not based off that. Like, the longer you're spending in the village, which you do need to do if you actually want to max out, which I gave up on doing, um, but max out before you upgrade the Kogi Castle, you're going to be insanely powerful for the stages that you need to be to upgrade the Cookie Castle again. I mean, already we're getting close to halfway to Cookie Castle 7 in terms of stages. Not in terms of resources, but in terms of stages. Like, uh, I wouldn't... But the thing is that the second you reach that stage, you want to upgrade because it's worthwhile because you need to... Um, you need to... You want the fountain because the fountain upgrade's worth it. Anyways, the air in this village is quiet and solemn. Is this pomegranate cookie's homeland? Hopefully, because we bought pomegranate cookie. I wish there was, like, more, like, spoilers or something. Like, if you... Like, yesterday we fought licorice cookie using licorice cookie. I feel like... I wish they do something cool with that. Let's see the story. This must be the pomegranate village. Ahem, ahem. What are you up to this time? I'm Custard Cookie, third of this name, and I... I and my servants come here with peace. You have avoided our traps. A bad sign, Priestess Cookie. Hey, okay. We're not bad cookies. The Pilgrim Village's elder sent us here to help you defeat the cake monsters. Are these true words? High Priestess, perhaps we can trust them. After all, they managed to pass our traps. The sacred tree will decide. Behind our walls, you will find a cursed altar. Destroy it and prove the bravery of your spirit. Ooh, this is just making me like pomegranate cookie more and more. They are 5-9 breathtaking ladders. I still feel like it's a disappointment what they did with the village. They could have done something cooler with this. Maybe one day. I would love a villages update. That should be one of their updates. Also, Strange Mountain. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So we can't do that now, obviously, but let's do power tip 200%. What does that mean? No idea. So let's do 5-6 and 5-7. That was, it said 5-7, right? To unlock that. And then hopefully we'll be able to check up the mound. Then I think we might head back to the kingdom and probably work on next clearing the last few, or some of the battle lands, because those are easy to clear and don't require massive amounts of resources, which is nice. Uh, I think I can technically, it's so, like, the issue with me right now is, I still want to save my rare materials to upgrade the monuments. But I need rare materials to upgrade the buildings, to unlock other buildings, to upgrade the buildings further. Like, I need to upgrade the buildings to unlock the materials to upgrade more buildings, which you need those materials to upgrade more buildings. It's just a constant stream of upgrading buildings, and I'm not even sure if there's a real point. Like, honestly, it's not like I get better rewards the more buildings I have. Like, tree, well, maybe you do. Maybe you get more points from tree wishes. It's, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm sure it makes sense to get more XP and all that stuff, but it just, like, you end up with so much, like, there's such a high demand, and production is very slow because it's waiting for the, waiting for the trains. And we do have our second train coat now, so that should technically double production. Maybe one day we'll actually buy the monuments, but then we still have to upgrade all of them. Upgrading the monuments is really expensive, and we have to upgrade them, I think, to level 7 now. Is it level 7? No, I think it's only level 6. 6, 7? I don't know, potentially upwards of level 7. That's a lot of levels. That'll take so much more, like, rare materials. <sighs> Constantly. I did, I am still tempted to buy some. I don't think it's gonna be worth it, but I definitely, definitely am tempted. So why did they just magically bring back the boosted? I mentioned this last time, that there was one in, like, the episode 1 early on, and then they just didn't do it anymore. And then they brought it back at the end of episode 4, and it makes no sense to me. Like, well, is it because the game's meant to be getting difficult now? Is that, is, like, is that the point? I don't know, I do have a feeling that when we actually do reach, like, endgame, like episode 8 and stuff, the game will become difficult, because our cookie upgrading, it has to slow down eventually, and I have a feeling already leveling up is slowing down. But, you know, each level now gives two cookie levels, so, I don't know, what do I know? That was 5-7, that was it, right? We exit... Or was it 5-9? There wasn't... There isn't the story. Because otherwise they would make us exit. I don't know. Was it 5-9? Yeah, it's 5-9. Uh, okay. Do we go to 5-9? Do we do it? Yeah, let's go to 5-9 before we end off today. So maybe we won't do clearing out in the village. We'll just go to 
check out the mound, see what the pomegranate villagers have to offer. It's pretty cool. But yeah, I, I'm, I am interested. I really do think it's going to be cool to see, like, all of the evil cookies. Because I have a feeling that we're going to end up fighting each evil cookie. Whether it be, like, what I could see them doing is, since we fought, like, Licorice Cookie last stage, this is totally pomegranate cookies, like, episode or whatever. I could see them doing it so that every episode, every world or whatever you want to call them, you fight a different one of the evil cookies. And then episode 8 or potentially 9, whenever that comes out, there you like refight each epic cookie of the bad guys. I feel like that could be super cool. And I could definitely see them doing that. That would be fun. Um, no idea. But I mean, that could be really fun. Oh, do, 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 do. Victory! To keep walking forward, keep moving forward. Yeah, the Cookie Kingdom, like, it gets really massive later on. Because there's just, there's so many buildings and things. I'm not even going for the decor. Eventually, I kind of want to max out all the decor, like, unlock all of those. Even though, you know, you lose, I don't know, gems and that stuff. Like, there's a real point, except decor points, which you don't need too many of, and most you just get for free, basically. But anyways, um... Like, you need so much land, which they do give you a lot of land. Part of the reason I want to do these expansions is, you get free land as well when you upgrade the Cookie Castle, and I think some of it's locked behind the land you have to, like, unlock by spending resources and things. So I feel like, oh, maybe if I unlock these two pieces of land, I'll get, like, ten free, but it's hard to know. Not that I'm in desperate need of land right now, but when we get those next two monuments, I have a plus there's still one more building I need to make at this level. I have a feeling I might be also- that was such a waste of ability. Why? Why, game? At least with our new, like, cooldown treasure, the cooldowns come back way, way faster. Time to wreck you guys, though, because you were very weak again. Okay, let's see what the pomegranate piece ha priests have to offer, because I'm excited. I have a feeling they could be very interesting to talk to. So let's see what they have to say. Pomegranate priest, we brought you your queen. I think it's to queen, maybe? They never actually mention exactly what Pomegranate Cookie is. But they seem to know about her, which is weird, because we haven't actually fought her or seen her yet. That makes a ton of sense to me, but whatever. Ooh, that's cool looking. The altar! It must be it. Let's get to work, Cookies. Destroy the cursed altar. The cursed altar. Is the altar destroyed? There was something that looked like cookie dough on that altar. Are you sure? Someone must have tried to create a curse, but that would mean... High Priestess! I thought the same thing. She is back. Um, I'm assuming those are emotions, but if not, you may be a cursed person. What's going on here? There was a cookie who caused a terrible tragedy. We're gonna learn about Pomegranate Cookie's backstory. She used a cursed crimson gem to burn our sacred tree and our homes. We managed to escape with the last pomegranate fruit. With great effort, we rebuilt our village and regrew the tree. How awful! Who was that? Pomegranate Cookie. She was the High Priestess before me. Pomegranate Cookie is very dangerous. She will stop at nothing to destroy you and your kingdom. And we're level 24! Perfect timing! Sort of. Strange mound, I'm assuming there's a treasure chest. Yeah, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Do -do 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 -do. One of every room material. That was definitely worth the shovels, I'll admit that much. Alright, so let's collect some more woods, let's upgrade our cookies, and then we can finish off for today. Next cookie level, by the way, we unlock our- we'll get level 30, which means we're gonna be unlocking our last, um... What's it called? Our last- how do we have two more of these now? Whatever. Oh, we probably already have them. Um, why am I drawing a blank on this? Our last something. Also, got just we have two quick draws. Let's do these quickly. Our last. Why is this? It's bothering me now because I just can't remember. Hey, what do you know, mint chocolate cookie? Um, yeah, honestly, I can't remember at all. We're getting close, actually, eight hundred. Yeah, we'll definitely have dark chocolate cookie for next time. But for today, um, we have some cookies to upgrade. Rarities. We go here. Fourteen out of twenty in the compass. Thirteen out of twenty on the pillars. Next time, hopefully, we'll be at twenty out of twenty. And maybe rash number two. Okay, well, whatever. We'll upgrade our cookies now, and then we can meet up. But yeah, so thank you all for watching. I really do still want to know, because it's hard for me to tell, and I know obviously there are some episodes you guys enjoy more than others. What kind of content do you 
Like, what part of it do you enjoy? Because I want to know. Because, well, I'm going to show you what you guys want to see the most. And it really helps me to know if there was, like, some things in episodes you prefer when I'm doing those, or just anything like that. Cookies don't crash. Okay, cool. Um, treasures don't have anything? Yeah, time to upgrade our cookies. Okay. But yeah, so let me know. Do you prefer when we're doing stages? Do you prefer when we're upgrading the village? Because recently, obviously, I've been doing most of our village upgrades off camera. Would you prefer that I do them on camera? Like, wait for more of that? Or do you want me to be spending more of the time, I don't know, working on dark mode? Or do you want me to do, be doing more arena or bounties? Any of that stuff, just let me know because I want to know your opinions and thoughts so I can do the best. But honestly, learning about pomegranate cookie store, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Continuing on with this. I just realized we didn't actually have good skill powers. We do have enough. The only one that we're actually a little tighter on is the wizard soul power because... Yeah, like, look at that one out. Five. Eee. Well, we'll get them eventually. I think it's actually a global skill powder today. He was down to 24. We almost... Oh, we must have gone to upgrade him last time. And pomegranate cookie. We did not forget to upgrade you. Skills up. Okay. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribing to join the Purple Elephant Squad. It makes my date super nice, and I really do appreciate it. We do it. Maybe. Maybe next time we might go for Pomegranate Cookie as our character of design. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful Saturday, wonderful start to your weekend. See y'all tomorrow. Bye!